is this the must-have bag of 2021. Hey guys, if you are new here, my name is Steph and in today's video, we're going to be taking a closer look at the Chloe Woody tote bag. This has been described as the it bag of 2021. So I have ordered one and we're going to be going through everything that you need to know about this designer tote today, including how much they cost, what fits inside, my first thoughts to the bag. I'll be styling it with numerous different outfits to give you some inspiration on how to style it. And make sure you stay tuned until the end of the video. I'm going to be revealing whether or not I think this really is the it bag of 2021. If you are also addicted to designer bags and luxury in general, then you are in the right place. If you haven't already, make sure you join the family by hitting the subscribe button and the bell down below. There is no judging here. Okay, so this particular bag from Chloe has been on my wish list for quite a while now. Ever since I first saw it, I knew that I really, really liked the style of bag. However, um, I often like to see my designer bags, I know some people don't like to see them like this, but as an investment. So I often gravitate towards more Louis Vuitton and Chanel bags because they often hold their value quite well. Now, when it comes to Chloe bags, I have seen some Chloe bags being resold and they do, some of the nicer styles definitely do fetch the money that they were kind of sold for or not too far away. Um, but it's been one of these brands that I've just kind of kept my eye on because I don't like spending a lot of money on a luxury item knowing that if I change my mind um, a little bit down the line that I will lose hundreds and hundreds of pounds. So I have sat on the fence about buying the Chloe Woody bag for quite some time um, but it's now quite, it's warm here in the UK and just the summer kind of vibe that you get from this tote bag is so nice so i just decided to go for it and get one so i ordered mine from netta porter this is not sponsored i've purchased this bag um, with my own money and i you can get this bag basically in three different sizes you can get the small medium and large I knew that I wanted the medium size. The large looks a bit too big, um, but it looks great if you want to carry a laptop. Medium is like perfect, it's like the Goldilocks <laughs> um, size of this bag. It looks great. And that's the size that I have got here. And then you've also got the small one, which is a relatively recent addition. Um, they've added this size, which is like a miniature version, which I think is really cute, but there's something about the medium size that I like a little bit more. So anyway, I was on the, I was trying to source this bag and I was on the Netta Porter website. This is where I purchased this one from. And I noticed a leather version, brand new. It's not even on the Chloe website yet. So I don't know if it's exclusive to Netta Porter or whether it's just so new that Chloe haven't yet listed it on their website. Um, it is slightly more expensive than the canvas version but I just had to see this in real life. I haven't even seen the canvas version. That is the one that I was going to buy because it was cheaper than this one. But I saw them side by side in the pictures and decided to go for this one, guys. So here she is. This is my first ever Chloe bag that I have purchased brand new. As you already know, this is the Chloe Woody tote bag. Let me show you around this bag a little bit closer or leather there and you've got your straps. These straps run all the way around the bag. Sides are very simple there. I love the straps on this, okay? It is so perfect on your shoulder. Like they have thought of everything. It is just, it's not too wide. So your arm sits really nicely and they are just the perfect length there to wear this as a shoulder bag, but you could also still wear it on the crook of your arm. Like it's not too long to do that. I'm actually going to get a liner for this because as you all know, I love liners. This is actually the first time that I have seen this. So it's one big compartment inside there. You've got your Chloe label and got like a Chloe thing inside there and a pocket on the back. But obviously once I've got a liner in here, the liner will have multiple pockets around the side so I can keep it quite organized. It opens up quite nicely. 
so I like that it concertina is out so that it's quite a big bag um, but it's not too big really liking that so overall, um, on first inspection of the bag, I'm really chuffed with it. I think the colour is beautiful. I think the quality already looks fantastic. It's simple, it's stylish. And yeah, I absolutely cannot wait to use it. Okay, so we've touched on the sizes and the prices what fits inside. I mean, like any medium size bag, I think this will probably be the most popular um, size of the bag. And so far I am absolutely loving it, but I am really intrigued to know, I've got my laptop down here, I've not even tried this, to see whether that fits inside. Okay, so starting off with my MacBook, this is a MacBook Air, this is the 13 inch, it's not the bigger 16 inch uh, version. So, moment of truth. Will this fit in the bag? Okay, so it's not going to go in that way, it's too wide. However, it will go in that way. However, it does poke out the top there. But it's actually quite nice to know that a laptop will fit inside of the bag. It does poke out, um, but if you really needed to carry a laptop, you could. This wouldn't be my bag of choice if I was taking a laptop, um, but if I really did want to use this bag and I needed my laptop, you know, that doesn't look too bad poking out there. It's not like the end of the world, um, but yeah, it won't fit in the other way. You would need the large size if you wanted to get a laptop in laid down. Okay, so here I have a full size Louis Vuitton Capucines purse and a plus size iPhone. Um, these are going to fit in here, no problem. Like I say, sorry I've not got a liner in here to show you what it might look like, but you can just see from that what fits inside. Then I've got an iPad Pro, this is the smaller Pro. So I'm gonna just pop that in and that does fit in lengthways. And I've got a full size bottle of water here. So that fits in. So now I've got my purse, uh, iPad and bottle of water in there. And then my car keys as well. I'd probably put these in the pocket at the back to kind of keep them safe. But yeah, I mean, if you look inside there, there's still like loads of room inside. So this is definitely actually roomier than I thought it would be. Uh, it doesn't, it's not bulking out, you know, those items are quite flat, um, but the overall look of the bag when it's got stuff in it doesn't change either. So I would say this is like the perfect everyday bag size. This is a little bit like the Neverfull MM. I will do a video comparing the like on the go, the Neverfull, this, uh, the Chanel Deville bag and I will take you through like what my thoughts are on the best bags, the, the worst ones to pick. Um, so like I said, if you aren't subscribed already, make sure you are and hit the bell. You'll be notified that video will be coming soon. Wear and tear on the woody bag. So obviously this is brand new to me. I don't know what the wear and tear looks like just yet. The things that I am slightly concerned about is this being a light color. However, it feels like it might already be protected. And with it, again, this being leather, I feel like it's probably going to be, if anything gets on it, I'll probably just be able to wipe it clean with some water and a cloth. I don't think it's going to be too high maintenance, but because these do run along the bottom here, I mean, these leather bits stand out more, so these might not touch surfaces as much, but as with most bags that don't have feet, in fact, even when they do have feet, to be honest, it can be worse. Um, I think these corners here might wear, um, but overall, I mean, I'm going to be really careful with the bag and I can't see it being like a huge problem. I can imagine that this leather might scuff, but again, the fact that it's leather, I, I, I know how to deal with leather fairly well in terms of like cleaning it up and getting scuffs off. So I do think that leather was probably the better choice for me. The canvas version, I'm not too sure how that one will wear, um, but I will do a wear and tear update in the future for you. To give you some ideas on how you might wear and style the Chloe Woody tote bag, I have tried this one on with numerous different outfits. Drop me a comment down below and let me know which outfit you like the most that I've styled this Woody tote bag with. i
checking out pictures of us I never realized what I have lost Now I know what I need is so insane How I treated this like a game Is the Chloe Woody Tote the next it bag? Is this the bag that you need to get in 2021? This is what people are saying online and they keep popping up more and more. And I'll be totally honest with you, I'm really glad that I finally invested in this bag. You can see why loads of people are starting to pick up on this bag. Okay, so with this being full leather, at 890 pounds, it's a lot cheaper than a full leather bag from Louis Vuitton or from Chanel. You know, it's under a thousand pounds. I can see the price of these skyrocketing guys in the near future. They are sold out. Like as soon as I purchase this, the next day, this leather version sold out. So I'll pop links down below. If you're thinking of getting one, just get them because they, they sell out so quickly. I believe at Chloe, there's a waiting list for the Woody tote bag. And sometimes they, I've heard that they won't let you buy the tote without buying something else, which I don't know how that works. I do, this all started with the Chloe Woody sliders. I really, really want these and they're going to match if I get the neutral color perfectly with this bag. So I quite like that you can get accessories that match your bag as well. Um, and I do think it's gonna be perfect for summer and the leather version for winter. Now your canvas version, the medium size at 690 pounds. In terms of price and other brands and the quality, the materials that you get, just how beautiful it looks, like this is just, like effortless. Team this with some like neutrals, like what I'm wearing now, like a white dress. It looks so nice. I definitely think guys, this is probably going to be one to watch. And I definitely think it's like the it bag for summer 2021. Let me know what you think in the comments down below. Make sure you stay tuned because coming up next guys, I'm going to be revealing the best designer tote bags and the best value for money designer bags. You don't want to miss this guys. I've been collecting designer bags for over 10 years and I reveal in both of these videos which bag I think is the best value for money and which one I think is ultimately the best designer tote bag.